All right, ninjas, it's time once again for the one hour manga drawing practice challenge to become a super mangaka. And today we're gonna draw Nex, suggested by Ninja Chun. So let's get rolling, pick up your pens, and let's start drawing. Okay, let's set the timer and let's get it rolling. Let's get it rolling. So, yeah, ninjas, uh, <clears throat> do you like your neck? As for me, eh, it, it's fine. As long as my head is on it, you know, not dying yet, uh, that's uh, pretty fine. Pretty, uh, yeah, not uh, any complaints. Do you have a long neck, you know? Nice. A long neck? Um, yeah, I guess some people have longer necks than others. Or like a double neck. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. When I was a bit more fat, I well, still a bit fat. Well, yeah. But I had, a, a, I guess the neck was a bit thick. Or you get like a double, a, a triple, a thousand triple chin. Um, well, that's a chin though, but it's still part of the neck, eh? Neck, chin, yeah, crimson chin. No, but necks uh, definitely are uh, handy to have on your head, you know? And without them, uh, yeah, you're like, uh, maybe, maybe some people have uh, a bit different, like uh, different necks. I guess uh, girl necks are a bit different than uh, man necks. Or if you train, I don't really train the neck actually in the gym. Not really. Uh, uh, maybe I do. On yeah, not really have an exercise that I focus on necks. I do know that like the Shaolin monks, they can uh, you know hang on their necks with a rope and not not like uh, you know the suicide shit, but more like they train their necks so that it can withstand like crazy shit. Just search on YouTube if you don't know about the, these Shaolin monks, you know, training their necks uh, is definitely uh, a thing. No, it's not what you think it is. Holy shit, what was that? Hacker man! The most powerful... Whatever. <laughs> no, but this is actually uh, an actual neck. An actual neck. Yeah, bubbles are more fun to draw or ass, but uh, you have to also get over some necks because you need it when making manga. You need to uh, know it well, stylized though. Yeah, yeah, the basics are needed, but uh, I think you need to know the basics and then you know make it your own for your manga I actually want to draw manga on the live stream starting a new manga but uh, I don't think we have much time today but yeah we also have to uh, practice and keep that drawing juice flow flowing <coughs> It's, um, you know, habits, you know, making this. Like, I know these, these drawings are not like perfect or whatever, and that's not the point. It's like to practice drawings to improve your skills. Uh, and these are not like final rendered pieces, you know. These are just, uh, yeah, for practice. And yeah, it's one hour, so it's like, Yeah, you can, can make cool stuff in one hour, definitely. And, and sketches can look good. Um, that's true, that's true. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Next. Yeah, if you train like a bodybuilder, I guess you get a, a more of a thick neck, right? But I'm not really training for that. I, um, I'm going to the gym, for example, to lose weight and gain a bit of muscle. I don't need to become like uh, Nappa from Dragon Ball Z or super big. More like um, lean or aesthetically. I uh, know what's it called? Get aesthetically. Maybe I want to go more into the aesthetics than not, um, calisthenics. I don't know. The, the thing that you train or... Like that you can carry yourself. Like pull-ups and all that crazy shit. 
what they do, like like calisthenics or something. That's like, uh, yeah, it's more body focused, I guess. Yeah, I do. Uh, just a mixture, you know. But maybe I, I want to get a bit more into that. Like I, I like the pull-ups, or at least uh, I think it's good if you can pull your own weight, you know, your own. Uh, like I used to be able to do 10 pull-ups like years ago, but then I was lighter. Now I can do like a max eight and a half pull-ups or about eight and a half, nine pull-ups. I, I, okay, let's say eight and a half or eight. I can do as my at my max, but the goal is still 10 uh, and to be easily able to do that. I'm not sure if you train your neck with that. I, I, you train your back, I think, but uh, yeah train your back with training uh, the pull-ups but hey, i i just do stuff I, I don't know everything or yeah i've not searched it all up And we're gonna add some screen tone as a brush. Or now, no, yeah, normally you don't screen tone like this. Normally you screen tone like, uh, like screen tones are like the gray tones on manga drawings that make the shadows, you know, the, the or, or, or sometimes for the foreground and such, it is different. Sometimes also just the texture for clothing, you know. But now I'm using it for shading as a brush. <laughs> Yeah, that's the handy about digital, that you can do it like this, like normally it's reversed. You uh, cut out a piece of screen tone, stick it on your drawing, traditionally, on your paper, and you cut out the parts that need to go away, and, and uh, scratch and stuff with all the, those special, uh, you know. But now I'm doing it reverse. Kind of crazy. Okay, enough of this neck. Next neck. Next neck. So yeah, what did you uh, do today, ninjas? Uh, or watch anything? Yeah, today I woke up a bit earlier than usual. More like, uh, yeah. Going to the fam and uh, yeah, uh, la last night we watched um, after the gym yet last yes uh, yesterday. I was also editing and stuff, but we watched. Um, uh, the new My Hero Academia episode and the new One Piece episode. The new One Piece episode is definitely an important episode for uh, some lore. Um, the thing about One Piece is there are like a lot of mysteries and, well, sometimes just crazy shit uh, gets revealed. Maybe if you're an anime watcher you don't really notice it or you're just like a noob in watching. No. <laughs> No, but some people might not really realize it or they just are not so long into One Piece and, and don't really um, like like if you go back in the days uh, maybe yeah still today though but like in One Piece there are a lot of mysteries to uh, think and talk about because um, you don't know the answers for a while uh, and it's still like a mystery like what the hell is this and that what is the D in like in, in One Piece the characters have the a D in their name, the, the the letter D, and it has some special meaning to it. And then, and then uh, you know, that's one of those mysteries, for example, or other mysteries in the story. Um, so, but for years, at least for me, it's like wondering, oh, what the hell is this? Sometimes you think about it a bit, like, oh, yeah. Um, like if, if you just got into One Piece like two years or something, and you don't have this time 
thing probably yeah maybe if you do do have that then uh, yeah then you really watch it <laughs> now I, it's like like let's say you start watching one piece the anime or manga reading uh, when it's already over right and let's say you won't get spoiled online which would be a miracle if that would not happen but uh, let's say you were not spoiled well then there's nothing much to theorize about because you can just read it right I mean the answers already are unless they are not told in in the end either but if it's already finished you kind of already well I assume all the answers are, are being told you know near if it's ended uh, already so then then you don't really have to theorize about it but let's say you're a long time watcher or reader and there are many things uh, over the years like your human years it's crazy because like I was starting to watch One Piece for example in uh, what is it high school yeah, and then it's already so many years later. And then, like, your real life just changes while the thing is still going on. Which is kind of crazy. You, you kind of grow up with it, sort of. If you keep watching it, at least, or reading. <clears throat> like, some, some people even, I think, become adults. Like, you are a little child, and then... So you start watching One Piece like let's say when you're eight and now you're still an adult and you still watch it, <laughs> still watch it if you are one of them um, let's say but yeah it's cool that it exists that you can have something that you can grow up with and you know but yeah mysteries and I think that's also one of the reasons why One Piece is good because it, it has these mysteries that makes the reader wonder or the watcher like they want the answers right like in some anime or manga it's um they're not really things to keep watching necessarily like there there may be some mysteries but they're not that that interesting or just a bit more boring or something um like to to really wonder and think about it like it's the same like when game of thrones was there uh like the white walkers or characters you um when game of thrones this the tv show at least when i watched it like you have like some things in the story uh but also like seeds planted in the story to wonder about the mysteries like what the hell is this character this what the hell happened there with this character? When are they, they, they gonna meet? Or um, yeah, what were the like the the, the, the White Walkers? Like uh, they were still a, a bit of mystery, and then slow you get a bit more introduced or shown about them and the Wildlings. Like there's still a place with the Wildlings and. Yeah, I guess. If you put some seeds in your story to be planted, like to wonder about and like you, you have like the story, right? You see it visually, like let's say uh, One Piece or Game of Thrones. Like it's not a, okay, Game of Thrones is also a book, but let's say you watch the show. <clears throat> but there's still things to sparkle the imagination, even if you already watched it or read it and therefore yeah you want the answers right because uh, uh humans by nature are curious beings you know right um and and i think those storytellers like uh, Tro oda or jr martin or some and some other stuff uh, they're, they're really good at, at you know keeping you hooked which is like, uh, yeah, if you make a, a, a long running thing, you have to get hooked, right? Like these cliffhangers and such. Like, okay, what other anime or manga or TV shows, movies, or a set of movies, let's say uh, a trilogy or whatever, has good um, imagination and, and like that you wonder what, what's uh, where, where, something to theorize about. 
Like what other shows have this or maybe games. Um, <clears throat> I guess with Dark Souls, they don't, in Dark Souls 1 at least, they don't talk a lot. You just have to play the game and figure it out. Like not everything is cookie cutter explained. Like how they always, well not always, but in some anime, they have to explain everything instead of showing it, you know? Yeah. Okay, some things maybe need to be explained, but some people get impatient. Like, oh, um, yeah, why is this and that and this? And they want the answers right now. And in a way I understand, like, yeah. Uh, I also want to know, but as a storyteller, you kind of want to leave that open uh, to, to keep the reader hooked, right? So they, they're gonna wander and you can continue on that later. But I guess you can also <clears throat> have the... Uh, less good experience of that, that, that like... For example, I, I read, a, I watched a, a review about The Walking Dead or something. And they talked about like, like you have characters in The Walking Dead that they, that you follow, right? You have the main character, uh, Rick Grimes and a, a few other ones, but at some point they introduce quite a bit of characters. Um, but like something crazy happens with this one character in the show, like in this one episode. And then you have to wait a month for them to come back to that main character. And, and then sometimes it, it can be a bit too long. It depends on what you tell in between, right? But if you in between tell something boring or not something that you really, it's a bit like filler, like. Yeah, then it's a bit like, uh, a waste, I guess, or I don't know. For me, I stopped walking the watch, uh, the watching dead, the walking dead, <laughs> the watching dead. <laughs> no, the walking dead. I stopped watching. Uh, yeah, a long time ago. It was. Um, yeah, at some point, it's like yeah, it 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 just. I don't know exact like like some characters they, they were killed off some cool characters for the for the um, shock you know for the shock um, like they kill characters off sometimes just to shock the audience but I, I think it's better to kill off a main character or something if it has a good reason you know um, or well that's up to the storyteller but. Yeah. If it's just for shock value, sometimes it's a bit. Uh, yeah. In, in The Walking Dead, there was definitely. Uh, you know, with Negan and such, if you watched it, like this character that. Uh, was definitely a uh, crazy scene, you know? He's a really good actor. As a. In this case, the villain, so to speak. Yeah, it's definitely... A, uh, that moment was definitely... You, you were like on your seats like, oh shit. Who's gonna die? Or something. But yeah. You, you have many shows and uh, like yeah some people still enjoy uh maybe for some it doesn't really matter some things and others it does or reverse you know yeah it really depends per person uh, yeah um The neck. But yeah, you've... Um, like, like what other shows have the, the same sort of thing, do you think? Like, what are... Um,
Li last time um, we also watched John Carter. It's about this guy in the Indian cowboy time period. Uh, that's where it plays off and then um, he's searching for some gold and <clears throat> at some point he's like running away from some Indians in the, de uh, the, the um, deserts or not desert uh, the yeah sort of like a desert like uh, in the USA, I guess. But um, they, they he run away from some Indians, goes into a cave. He was searching for like this gold and such. And in this story, like it starts like in, in that time period. So, uh, but in this cave, he, he, uh, suddenly there's this guy who uh, wants to kill him. He um, looks um, science, science fiction kind of character like uh, futuristic or was it uh, but for some reason uh, shit happens and um, he gets like zapped to another place so by this device he, he gets zapped to uh, another place he, he uh, suddenly is there normally he's like a sort of a cowboy kind of guy or like an Indiana Jones kind of guy that searched for treasures and shit. That, that was the type of guy he, he uh, is. And suddenly he's, he's like teleported or zapped to this other place by this device. Like what the hell? He, he, he looks around, also sort of desert and such. And he does not know where he is. He has this medallion with him. Which uh, when you watch it is... Well, you, you will understand that, that that's probably the thing that zapped him in, in there. But then he, he tries to walk and he cannot walk for shit. He, he uh, like, like, um, floats or what's the word? His weight is weird, you know, when walking or trying to walk. And then when he dry, tries to jump, he uh, jumps really high. It's like a superpower, kind of. And then at some point he meets like... Uh, um, he, he climbs on this little mountain and sees some creatures in this sort of... Uh, yeah, what's it? A, a sort of mountain that, that's with a, with a sort of little... Like the farm is where they have like um, their farm animals or something. It's it not farm animals, but it looks a bit like some something like that. I'm not sure how to explain this uh, thing, but like he, he climbs on the mountain and he sees this this hole with with glass in front of it with all these sort of creatures, a lot of them and such. And suddenly, in the distance, a horde of creatures come running at him <coughs> on these on other creatures, and and they they are like uh, green long and they have like four arms. But basically this guy, uh, John Carter, was zapped to Mars. And because Mars has a different gravity, um, well, he could jump higher. And in real life, it, it will probably not be this over-exaggerated. I don't know, I've never been to Mars. Maybe you have, um, but uh, <laughs> the gravity uh, makes him sort of like a super strength human because his, uh, yeah, if you're on Earth, you have a different gravity. So in this movie, at least, I'm not sure how correct this is, but uh, yeah, he, he can jump high, his strength uh, improves and such. And one of these aliens is like really impressed by his uh, jumping skills but at first they cannot talk to each other because uh well aliens have other language i forgot what they're called but um yeah so basically they live these tribes of long arms alien creatures a bit like um they're a bit like the horde from horde and alliance or orcs but more like uh these these tribes you know this uh yeah they look pretty cool but he uh yeah, meets up with them. A lot of shit happens. 
And there are also other uh, sort of human humans. They are more red. Uh, they call them red, red uh, apes or something. And this guy is a white ape. Uh, but, but basically at the beginning this guy gets sort of like captured by the by the alien uh, tribe and uh, yeah a lot of shit happens but yeah we watched that movie uh, for the first uh, I, I watched it I think for the second or third time or something Nisha John had not seen it yet but I watched this movie and I think um, when watching it back it's still uh, a good movie a rewatchable movie from from when I watched it for the first time I think already it was a good movie I remember the ending very clearly from when I think about this movie and I think um, or at least what something that happened near the ending but I think this ending um, yeah this, this this movie has a pretty good ending I think uh, a sort of a happy ending maybe yo giant welcome back to the show Ninja Rocks is showing and what did you eat today <coughs> Let's do the ninja box. Is digitally D. How's it Let's going, do the giant? ninja box. Is digitally uh, right now drawing three. Max, by the way, in case uh, my owl. you did not see it. Yo, Danchan, welcome back to the show, Ninja Box Ishling. And what did you eat today? Uh, yeah, Ninja Chan suggested drawing uh, Max, and that's what we're drawing right now. Yeah, a few days ago she uh, mentioned it, and uh, yeah, well, let, let's draw some next, since uh, yeah, why not? Neck. But yeah, I, um, I was talking about um, you ate the Chinese. Very nice. What a coincidence. Me too. <laughs> But yeah, I was just talking about uh, the movie uh, John Carter uh, that we watched, and uh, yeah, had a pretty good ending as well. I think so. A good, uh, complete picture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some of the story might be a bit stereotypical, like uh, if you compare it to other stories or something. Like, but I think overall, it's uh, uh, yeah, a good, uh, yeah, solid. Uh, if you like a bit of that cowboy and uh, sci-fi or science fiction, um, I think it should be fine. All fine and dandy. Are you eaten Chinese person? <laughs> the giant was gonna say something like that. Yeah, ne next time we're gonna eat a, a Hollander. Yeah. <laughs> With a lot of cheese. With a lot of cheese. But yeah, man, what have you been watching lately, ninjas? Any anime or anything fun? Uh, why am I drawing this whole head? I don't know. Yes. Uh, Very tasty. Nice. A lot of meat. Meat. I'm ready to eat. Mad lads. So yeah, ninjas. Right, 
just not that. Any plans for this week? Anything fun? As for me, it's uh, yeah, mostly editing as well, working on stuff. Going to the gym. Mm. Is it raining? Is it raining? Well, just before it wasn't, but uh, maybe now it is. Maybe now it is. Wait, why am I drawing all this? It's supposed to be about the next. Oh, well. Bonus head. Bowler's hat. <laughs> Bowler's hat. Yeah. Uh oh. Rain comes around one. Oh, then I'm in the gym. In the it's gym! It's land now. It's raining man, hello, hello, Edger. Far away. Mm. Tongue poking smiley. Raining man! Yeah, next. Looks a bit weird. Yeah, but next. If you have any other suggestions for the next human body part drawings, uh, just let me know in the comments. Just do it. Can also be ones we already did. Nice. So this year we also go to um, Dutch Comic Con on Saturday, I believe. I have no idea if I'm gonna cosplay yet, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I did got like this Japanese sort of cape. Um, I might wear that when we were in Japan. Yeah. But yeah, this uh, time going more as a tourist. I still want to go to conventions with uh, the party time books, but still have to print those out or let them be printed, but have to fix some uh, things. But you're also uh, lately a bit busy with uh, the editing stuff and some side editing and all that. So things uh, have to wait a little bit. But yeah. Is what it is. Yes, couple cosplay. Couple cosplay as what? As Nami and Luffy. 
No, I'm too fat for Luffy, man. Still have to get more in shape for Luffy. Luffy's like skinny ass. Keep it up, ninja. I still have a Goku suit laying around. Um, yeah, I just maybe just wear it. Nezuko, you Tanjiro. <laughs> no, man, not Tanjiro. Then I want as the pig, man. But uh, yeah, I'm not uh, muscular yet like that, so cannot do that. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> nah, 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 not as Tanjiro, man. Oh, Harry Potter, we have wands. Harry Potter. Mm. If I think about Harry Potter, I, I don't really have anyone I think at the moment that I would want to cosplay. Nah. Like I like Harry Potter, but not that much. Uh, I just go cosplaying as... Uh, Maybe something simple. Nah, I don't know, man. Wait, what anime you do you watch giant. again? Jimby. <laughs> you go as Big Mom. <laughs> Daiji goes as Big Mom. Oh wait, then you don't have to cosplay. <laughs> Fresh meat. Oh, got to go back. See your light skin tone oh, waving hand later. sign. See you later, light skin tone waving. Yes. Work it. Work it with the sword to Stufu. Huh? I oh, have to uh, work, right? Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> so this girl has a long neck. What? Is this even real? She probably did a lot of exercise. The hell? How do you get such a long neck? Tomorrow Ninja had black eye. Luke. <laughs> His. Do you hear that, ninjas? Can you believe it? Nine, 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 nine. But yeah, ninjas. As who would you cosplay if you would go to a anime convention? Like I don't know what else to cosplay, let me think. Ninja Gaiden, no you have to be in shape. For those tight leather suits on your balls and all tight and... Like with the Power Rangers, you know? It's really too tight. I don't like tight cosplay. With a, uh, you know... That's why I like Goku suit. A bit more baggy or not too tight. Ice. Um, but when I'm in shape, maybe then I uh, might try it. I don't know yet. But then I, I have to lose like 20 kilos of fat or something. Yeah, I um, calculated with the Asian calculator that I have to lose like... Uh, I have to become 70 kilograms or something. But I'm not sure how this works with like muscle. 
Yo Dion, welcome back to the show, Ninja Bucks eat showing and what did you eat today? But yeah, what would you cosplay ninjas? Uh, let me see, cosplay. what else would I cosplay? Demaro Black, what is that? Is that an anime? For you. What else is that? Some fat guy. If I search it up, it's probably some fat guy. Smiling face with Halo. Yeah, as who, uh, let me see. Like, okay, let's say One Piece characters, yeah? But if Luffy, that, that's, I'm too fat for that. Zoro, also too fat because he shows his, uh, yeah, good body. Um, yeah, Jimbei, but he's really fat. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not gonna paint myself blue. And also Jimbei, I, I don't really like him. Like, I like him, but not that much. Like, it's not one of my favorite characters. Um, what other One Piece characters do you have? I never... Um, hmm, maybe Sabo, he wears a lot of clothes. Like Ace, yeah, you have to also get a good body. And yeah, I think... Uh, I personally don't want to... Uh, if I cosplay... Get a male it, corset. It, it, Nah, man, that's uh... It's probably in November or something, so it's um, maybe not too hot, hopefully. Like, if I would cosplay right now, I would probably choose something like Luffy, a, a summer suit kind of cosplay. Or something that's like... Um... Because if you're inside a, uh, an anime con, it's really hot and sweaty inside, even in the winter. Like it's, Waist it's, trainer, uh... I think they're called. No, but and I'm not then I'm gonna do that, man. I want to oh, yeah, do the real heat. shit. I have to, I have to earn the cosplay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I still have a Goku suit laying around. Double zero belly band. Fatty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now Zoro, I have seen some some good Zoros out there. Yeah, this guy, I saw him in uh, also on the. Dutch You're earning it thing. is a cool idea. Like, like, um, he was in shape, but he also had like the three swords in a in a holder. It looked really cool. It it does, even but it does look like um, like let's say you get have to go to public traffic to go to the convention or whatever. Then then it looks kind of um, how how should I say this? How do you say this? Not um, practical, like. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a lot of troublesome. Like I want to have a cosplay that's uh, wh where you can eat, but uh, it's not too troublesome to wear it all. Like I, yeah, uh, probably something like that, or I just wear my Goku suit or whatever. Okay, let's see. What animes did we watch? Like Tokyo Revengers, they have cool suits, but yeah, how do you get all those suits? Too much trouble to uh, probably have to. Yeah, hmm. Let me see. What is it? Yeah, the, the, the thing, if you want to cosplay good, uh, you have to put your time and effort in it. I, I did that with the Goku suit back then. Um, I asked my aunt to... Uh, um, um, like, I, I got some clothing and, and she could, uh, like, uh, sew it together. And I, I made my custom um, boots. Like, I, I got some cheap-ass boots at this store. I cut it open and at some other fabric or what's it called to to get to make the the goku shaped boot the the boots the thing is they uh, don't walk that uh, well or the yeah it's not really com comfortable to wa walk with them or at least you can walk with them but they are a bit loose you know you cannot really it's easy for it to, to uh, lose your shoe so to speak if you go running or something uh, with the shoes, at least, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, what other? Maybe a neat. Um, there are definitely some cool characters out there. But uh, yeah, what what was what should I? Wait, what did you say again? Mm. 
Demato, who the fuck is that? Demato Black. I get out of here. <laughs> what? How do you even know this guy's name? I totally forgot the fake fucking straw head. Bit. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. He's iconic. Well, now I uh, know exactly. <laughs> I didn't even know he had the. I forgot his name, man. But uh, yeah. How do you remember that, man? That's such a, yeah, I don't think many people, well, might be surprised, but I don't think the average One Piece reader would know his name, right? Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, cosplaying as a One Piece character. I got, Luffy would be nice. I got, I got, Luffy is a bit more simple, not all the swords, like Zoro, you have to fix all these swords, so that's more troublesome. Like Sanji, just a, a nice suit and a smoking. Um, but no, I'm not gonna, gonna go as Sanji. Mm. What other anime do you have again? Dr. Stone. I go as... Um, the, the strong dude, the, the mate of uh, Dr. Stone dude, uh, Senku, no, the other... Uh, nah, to be more in shape for that one. Yeah, it needs to be a cosplay, that's, that's not hard to fix, you know, I am not... Uh, or just as a random ninja, or just, uh, you know... There are definitely cool, cool cosplays out there. Uh, there was one time on a convention you had this Chainsaw Man cosplay, the whole um, helmet, so to speak, of Chainsaw Man. It looked really epic with all the teeth and it, I think it could even move. It's just really well crafted, the way it looks like. And so it looks, looks so damn dope how uh, they fixed that, but to fix all of that, yeah. I think at some point I do want to make a good cosplay more legit but um yeah so much time goes into that and uh yeah but uh maybe something more simple or a slice of life kind of character or like mugen from samurai champlo or something but he, i think he, he needs to be He's open shirt, yeah, and then you have to also be a bit more in shape. But I think Mugen from Samurai Champlo, that would be cool. I think they also have the replica of the swords. Only he wears these uh, Japanese uh, shoes, right? The, the sandals, the flip flops for the Japanese wooden ones. I once bought one of those and it broke. <laughs> like uh, the rope um, of those uh, Japanese. Um, What's it called? A um, uh, what's the wooden shoe called again? What else is there? We watched Kaiju Eight. I guess the normal clothes of Kaiju Eight is or like Death Note or something. Yeah. Now L, you have to walk on naked feet. That's a bit troublesome. What, what, what do you think I could cosplay as? That's like easy to fix and you don't have to be in shape for it, or at least. In the shape I am now, it's, it's fine. But it's not a fat character. <laughs> Yeah. What would you go as? Or what was your last cosplay if you ever did that? My last cosplay, I guess, was Goku or just as a ninja on the. On... Kind of forgot a bit. 
I guess just as Goku or something. Maybe I, I, I brought two things. One time I went as Ninja Case or something, or Ninja Suit, or the other one... Kinda forgot. I do, have, I do have some stuff laying at the other place, like a lot of stuff. I've also got like some, some sort of Halloween uh, masks and such, a scream or whatever. Um, but I don't think I want to wear like a, a, a mask because... That's uh, yeah, you cannot eat in... I, I don't know yet, man. Let's search up uh, pictures after we're done with this hour, maybe. No. Or ordered from Ali, and then you you get it too late. <laughs> no, I think we're probably still in time, though. Hmm. I think Mugen from Summer Champlo. I, I kind of now that I think about it, I think he's a cool character. Also, one of my favorite anime. Yeah, next to Dragon Ball, of course, in One Piece. Or Air Gear! No, yeah, then... I do have skate, but the Air Gear skates are, I think, hard to fix. I think Air Gear would be cool, just going as uh, Icky or something, but then you need blue hair, no, fuck that. I want uh, red hair, then. Mm. Let me see... I think those, the, like a Viking kind of cosplay is also pretty cool, like those the, all, the, with all the armor and shit, but yeah, no, that, that's uh, too much to fix right now. I, I guess it could be possible, but uh, I have no idea though, like, for sure though, never really... Uh, but I think it's cool to have one of those medieval sort of Paris Summer or something. But, uh, at those conventions, you cannot carry any, um, well, weapons, which kind of makes sense. But uh, for replicas, sometimes can you, you can also not. Um, yeah. Or maybe. Mm, no, I felt like maybe find a replica sword that you can carry and then cosplay as that, but uh, I, I don't necessarily need one to carry a sword. Yeah, uh, Mugen has a sword. He also has, yeah, that is one of, I saw on the, one of the conventions that the, the Mugen sword. I do wonder though if you can carry that with you, like on your back. Um, probably not on the streets, <laughs> if you can like. You know, un unsheet it and... Uh, but it's weird though, because if you can buy it at a convention, why cannot you also wear it at a convention? If you can also buy it there... Pokemon or Trainer Red. Different? Oh yeah, Pokemon Trainer, that's a good one actually. That's that's probably not too hard, you just wear a cap. Oh, that, that might be a good... Uh, yeah, Pokemon Trainer. Might just end up looking like a guy though. Yeah, but that's that's a good thing. Because it's just easy to fix as well. And that, that is a, yeah, that's a pretty good one. And I need to carry a Charmander on my shoulder or something. Or a Charizard or that's too small. Yeah. Ah, yeah, to carry the old Charmander though. But yeah, Pokemon Trainer might be a good one, yeah. Actually. Yeah. As Ash or Rat. You would only need his coat and hat then. The... And the balls. Yeah, wait, let me, let's search after this. What do you need for, let's say, a Pokemon Trainer Red? I go as uh, Gear 5 Luffy, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. It would be cool though, but uh, no. I, if you, I think it would be cool if you can pull it off. How would you even do that though? Yeah, I don't know. Gear 5 Luffy, I wonder. They, people probably already have done it. Be a real one and go as anime Brock. <laughs> Brock, and then I'm gonna sell some donuts. I go as... Uh, 
<laughs> With the orange shirt and green coat. Mr. Brave! <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Playing as Mr. Mr. Burr. <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, I go no, cosplay no, as no, Electro Boss. <laughs> <laughs> With the, uh, the real one goes anime Brock, orange shirt and green coat. He has like this, um, not a coat, right? But a uh, vest or a vest coat without the sleeves. What's it called? A. Uh, um, no, but then I have to close my eyes all the time. I cannot watch. Like, I have to, you know, walk with my eyes closed everywhere. Yeah, I had no idea what it was called. Um, yeah, I, I do look th like those kind of vests, though. But, uh, or, I'm not sure how it's called. Yeah, it's, uh, even in our own language, I'm not sure how to call it. Even though I do enjoy wearing those, sort of. No, yeah, I like the, the also with the. You with the, need to wear a, a belt, though. Um, I know some people hate them. Oh no! I today also wear a belt, but is it a specific belt? Yeah, I, I wear belts all the time, man. If I uh, can, yeah, I prefer to well wear a belt. Else, my uh, pants drops uh, on the ground, and then you see uh, shit. <laughs> no, w but yeah. belt. Um, I, I, I do like some belts. I only have one though right now, I think. But I don't mind wearing a belt. No, definitely not. Um, but yeah, the Pokemon train is definitely a good contender, man. That might be uh, it. Yeah, but let's say you go, oh, no, 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 no. I would, if you say couple train, a cap, uh, couple for Pokemon, then it would be Jesse James. <laughs> now, some people are, now, Team Rocket is pretty cool too, though, but. Yeah. Now to fix the whole Team Rocket suit, it's uh, I guess a bit more troublesome. Or just as a um, um, a Rocket Grunt. I have a T-shirt actually, a Rocket Grunt T-shirt. But last time I wore it was a bit uh, I was a bit too fat for that. But I do have the R on the shirt, like a, a black shirt with an, a big ass R. So I, I that uh, could be a Team Rocket uh, Rocket Grunt. I could cosplay as that maybe. I have the shirt already, just a t-shirt, you know? A rocket so, grunt would be cool if you had uh, the boots and the hat. Uh, the boots? Yeah, I'm not sure if I can fix those boots. Maybe the hat? Yeah, just a black ha uh, cap with a uh, R on it. I think that, that would be... That could be possible. Or maybe... Hmm. Yeah, just print print on demand an R on a, on a, a black cap and, and then you're done, right? Yeah. Team Rocket might even be cooler than I don't know, or just a trainer. Yes, yeah, also fine. Yeah, it's a good contender. I have to talk about it with Ninja Chun. I think you could get away with wearing black shoes for the grunt, though. I have black shoes. Um, yeah, maybe just some black shoes. Just fix a hat with an R on it, if uh, uh or just print. And you would be your own R unique grunt. Yeah, I think uh, I, I kind of like that. Or just the trainer is, is also fine. Hmm. Yeah, Pokemon is a pretty good uh, contestant there. That's uh, a good one of you, Dion. Dion. I uh, haven't thought about that yet before. Was well, that a uh, good one? Pokemon trainer, Pokemon uh, stuff. Hmm. Or just as team. Big brain. Team, yeah, May, that, that's a. What else is there? What, what could be a couple? Like, if you go couple cosplay, what would be a. Like, I go as Ash and uh, she goes as Misty or something. Or. Uh, yeah, you have Jesse James, but uh, I, <laughs> I think that suit is gonna be a bit more troublesome. The, and the blue hair. No, I don't want to wear the blue hair, man. Get out of here. Like if I'd rather, but then I have to go as Jesse. And uh, not no, thank you, man. You could make a grunt there. OC. Yeah, maybe a grunt. Yeah, the grunt. I already have the shirt. 
If I still fit it then. Uh -huh. One who wear a sleeveless jacket or something. Uh huh? Sleeveless jacket. Oh, we already at the time. Ah, we should draw a bit more though. Let's at least fill this up a bit more. Some bonus necks. Uh, um, yeah, Pokemon's definitely a good one. What else is there? Like let's say Dragon Ball, I already have the Goku suit, so then Ninja Chan, Ninja Chan has to fix like Chi Chi or Bulma or something. <sighs> let's say, but um, okay, let's see what else is there. Let's say we take the show Naruto, then I would probably want to go as Kakashi, but he wears a mask, unless I, he doesn't, but... Um, Rock Lee is cool too, but his suit is a bit too tight for me, uh, so no thank you. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, what else is there? Kamina from Tengen Topa Guren Lagan. No, I think he uh, also then wears a, a thing. A thing. Uh, come on, let at least. There are two more necks. Mm, what other other cosplays exist? Okay, let's quickly. Bruh. As what would you cosplay Dion if you uh, cosplay, go cosplaying? Or what was your last cosplay if you ever did it? Uh, what other things exist again? Okay, let's see. What anime did we watch? We watched Tokyo Revengers. I think Tokyo Revengers. If you have the suit, but I think the suit is a bit hard to fix. Is uh, yeah. I've um, never done one, but if money was not a thing, I think I would make a Spider-Man OC. Spider-Man? Oh shit, you have to wear the tight, uh, tight clothes. That's interesting. Yeah, Spider-Man's uh, pretty cool if you have, uh, if you fit in it. <laughs> yeah, then it's, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I used to, uh, to also be uh, like Spider-Man or like Wolverine, you know? Um, but you would make your own sort of Spider-Man then, or how would that uh, go? Like adjust your own colors, or uh, yeah, how, how does that uh, look like, or? I don't even like Spider-Man like that, but I like when people make spider sinus. Spider- oh, I- uh, Their own sort of Spider-Man uh, characters. Yeah, then I would become a Spider-Man Ninja Spider-Man. Ninja case Spider-Man crossover. Huh, that might be interesting to draw, actually. But, uh, not now. <laughs> Oh, 
I think it's a cool idea though. Yeah, Ninja Spider-Man or something. I mean, Spider-Man already has the uh, abilities to sneak like a ninja. I mean, if Spider-Man was ninja. like in feudal Japan and he would dress like a, a more like ninja-like, there are probably already comics with this or something. You have the shuriken or a kunai at uh, the web or, uh, you know, you can do all these combos, you know, if you mix Spider-Man with ninja shit. I think it definitely can have a, a something epic. Because, you know, it's just like, yeah, he keeps the powers that he already has, Spider-Man powers, and then you have just the ninja weapons added, like a sword or something. So let's say Spider-Man has a sword or more swords or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, I think uh, hmm. it probably already exists, what I'm now talking, what I'm saying. Probably some already, already did it. But yeah, Wolverine, Wolverine is also like connected to the ninja and such, but I think Spider-Man could also... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, as for Batman, yeah, he already has like a ninja sort of, all the gadgets and shit and uh, yeah. I mean, use the, the better ranks or what's it called? Uh, with, those are like shuriken, so uh, yeah. But he has no powers, but uh... But yeah, they already made a... A Batman and Joker in Fugil Japan or something, but it looks shitty 3D. 3D. Or at least it looks, uh... Yeah, it's 3D, it looks... I don't know. I, I tried to check it out, but uh... I was like, ah, yeah, never mind. Like, any of you actually watched it and enjoyed it, or...? Yeah. Uh, what else do you watch? That might be a cosplay thing. Um, Dr. Stone we watch. Tokyo Revengers. Um, uh, My Hero Academia. Yeah. Yeah, then it would maybe Bakugo or something, but that's just too much to... Uh, too troublesome. And, yeah, with My Hero Academia... Uh, I enjoyed it, enjoy it sort of, but lately not so much. I don't know, man. That's just uh, I try to enjoy it, but um, I don't know what it is. And I'm talking here about the uh, anime. I don't read the manga at the moment. I did read the manga before, but um, uh, well, I stopped with that, and now I'm actually further with the anime than the manga. So yeah, uh, up to date, basically. Um, yeah. Like if you say like Game of Thrones or something, I, I maybe want to go like as uh, Jon Snow or something. But uh, yeah, you have to fix all that stuff. The, uh, yeah, medieval, uh, it, it's, it's cool though, but uh, I'm not sure if it fits with me. Um, yeah. Or just like, uh, nah. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. <laughs> nah. Even though I like him as a character, I'm not, like, yeah, I don't think I can really cosplay him. Um, what else is there, eh? Right? What else is there? But yeah, so far the Pokemon Trainer is, uh, I guess, the best one. Or yeah, next to the Goku suit that I already have. But uh, yeah. Neck.
Yeah, next to that, let me see. Soul Eater. Oh yeah, Black Star from Soul Eater is cool. But that suit is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist, nah. Hunter Hunter, nah. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Mm, yeah, probably also too, too troublesome. I, I cosplay as a tourist. <laughs> As a Luffy. Well, he kind of looks like a tourist, eh? Not really like a pirate. Sort of. Like a, yeah, more like a adventurer or something. Well, in the, even though pirates are, you know. Well, not a stereotypical pirate, which is like, uh, you know. Which is the point, then? Because it's an anime manga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like that. Next. But yeah, Ninja said, well, as what would you cosplay to an anime convention? Or what was the last one? Or what would you like to go as? Uh, yeah. All right, here are the necks we drew for the one hour manga practice challenge. So here we have uh, neck number one. The number one neck. And here is neck number two. And number three here. Neck number four. Long neck number five. Number six. Number seven. Yeah. And number eight of the neck. So if you have any uh, requests for other body parts, just uh, let me know in the comments. Just do it. And let's not forget to... Right. Nice. Ba -ba -da -boom. Okay. So, next. Yes. All right, Ninjas, thank you very much for joining the one hour drawing manga practice challenge once again. The <coughs> next suggested by Ninja Chun. Thank you very much for that. And if you have any other suggestions for future drawing body parts for the next one hour manga practice challenges just let me know in the comments if you have any and it can be body parts we already did or other body parts that we have not done yet needs to be safe for work though else i cannot show it on the tube and on the live streams all right thank you very much for joining once again ninja works initially and see you ninjas the next time ninja case out <laughs>